Governor, why does New Hampshire need to be ruled from Washington? This morning's unemployment numbers? Hi. Very disappointing. Is all the recent talk of secession, mere sour and grapes over the election, or perhaps something deeper? Currently, there are active petitions in support of secession for all 50 states, with Texas taking the lead in number of signatures. Texas has well over the number of signatures needed to generate a response from the administration. And while I wouldn't hold my breath on Texas actually seceding, I believe these petitions raise a lot of worthwhile questions about the nature of our union. Is it treasonous to want to secede from the United States? Many think the question of secession was settled by our Civil War. It was a brand new idea. In 1777, Molly Pitcher fought for freedom at the Battle of Monmouth. On the contrary, the principles of self-governance and voluntary association are at the core of our founding. Clearly, Thomas Jefferson believed secession was proper, albeit as a last resort. Writing to William Giles in 1825, he concluded that states, quote, should separate from our companions only when the sole alternatives left are the dissolution of our union with them or submission to a government without limitation of powers, close quote. Keep in mind that the first and third paragraphs of the Declaration of Independence expressly contemplate the dissolution of a political union when the underlying government becomes tyrannical. Picking up the wounded. Come on, let us shoot. Do we have a government without limitation of powers yet? The federal government kept the union together through violence and force in the Civil War, but did might really make right? Secession is deeply an American principle. This country was born through secession. Some felt it was treasonous to secede from England, but those traitors became our country's greatest patriots. There is nothing treasonous or unpatriotic about wanting a federal government that is more responsive to the people it represents. That is what our Revolutionary War was all about, and today our own federal government is vastly overstepping its constitutional bounds with no signs of reform. In fact, the recent election only further entrenched the status quo. If the possibility of secession is completely off the table, there is nothing to stop the federal government from continuing to encroach on our liberties and no recourse for those who are sick and tired of it. Consider the ballot measures that passed in Colorado and Washington State regarding marijuana laws. The people in those states have clearly indicated that they are ready to try something different where drug policy is concerned, yet they will still face a tremendous threat from the federal government. In California, the feds have been arresting peaceful medical marijuana users and raiding dispensaries that state and local governments have sanctioned. This shouldn't happen in a free country. It remains to be seen what will happen in states that are refusing to comply with the deeply unpopular mandates of Obamacare by not setting up health care exchanges. It appears the federal government will not respect those decisions either. In a free country, governments derive their powers from the consent of the governed. You work for us! You work for us! When the people have very clearly withdrawn their consent for a law, the discussion should be over. If the feds refuse to accept that and continue to run roughshod over the people, at what point do we acknowledge that that is not freedom anymore? At what point should the people dissolve the political bands which have connected them with an increasingly tyrannical and oppressive federal government? And if people or states are not free to leave the United States as a last resort, can they really think of themselves as free? If a people cannot secede from an oppressive government, they cannot truly be considered free. Thanks for calling this update. A new update is placed on this number. 888-322-1414 every Monday. The written text can be found on my website, www.house.gov slash Paul under the heading Texas Straight Talk. Thanks for calling.
New Hampshire's State House, among the least bad governing institutions on earth. But even here, legislators plot theft and destruction. However, they don't do it without opposition. The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance stands in their path and stands ready to train you in the ways of the Citizen Freedom Lobby. Visit nhliberty.org to get involved.